Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my obsession with chapters in books. I'm pretty obsessed with chapters in books, and to prove it to you, this is a list of page number and the chapter of a certain book I've read several months ago. And the reason why it says chapter one, two, and three, yada yada, stuff like that, is because the book I've read, The Upside of Falling, doesn't have chapter one, two, and three. It doesn't have like the numbers. It has character names or titles of the chapter because not all chapter books have numbers in the chapter. They either have character names or title, basically. So if they don't have a number in the chapter, I either have to write it down or look it up. Now, not all people do this when they read, but this is how I do it. Because ever since I was in school, taking tests over certain books we read in class, I feel like whenever I read books now as an adult, now that my perspective of reading has changed, I feel like I have to take a test over it. Like I gotta memorize everything that's going on when I read the book, even when I listen to an audiobook. Like, it's messed with my head quite a lot. I'll never forget those times I had to take tests over certain books and some of the books I've read were kind of hard to follow, like Macbeth, because old English reading books aren't my thing. I had to keep up with what's going on and all that stuff. And when I tell my mom I'm on, I'm on a certain chapter in a book I'm reading, she's like, why are you telling me this? Why can't you just read it? My mind is different than everybody else's when they read because a lot of readers, not all of them, most of them like to read books in one day. They probably got a lot of time on their hands. But me, I, I read books in like two or three days, depending on what kind of book it is. Like if it's 200, 300, or 400 pages. Because if it's a book over 500 pages, I'm not going to read it. Like a Stephen King book that big, I'm not going to read that. Like a book like that gives me anxiety. Like I did show you guys in a video like of horror books don't scare me. I showed you the two Stephen King books I've read, The Sun Dog and The Mist, and they don't have a whole lot of pages or chapters in it, but the rest of the Stephen King books they have a ton of chapters and I don't think I'd read any other book past 400 pages ever because of all of the memories of school and trying to read a book as fast as I can and remember what's going on like the memories have flown back I'm not gonna stop reading books because my perspective of reading has changed a lot and I don't want to stop reading even if the memories of school and taking tests and all of that has you know has clogged up my brain whenever I read a book like I try to forget about it most of the time but I need to know that whenever I read books now and I'm not in school I don't need to take tests over it my mom tells me read books however you want to even if you don't remember everything that's going on in the book, just read however you want to. I remember my I told my older brother that I've read this certain book called Dark Witch by Nora Roberts, and he tell and he asks me, "Oh, what's it about?" And I had to try I had to try and remember every well not every bit most of the important details. I had to tell him the most important part of the details of the book. And what's going on who the characters are like ooh, I had to remember a lot of stuff I had to like keep track of that but most people forget um, if if someone asks them what the certain book they've read is all about let's just hope nobody asks me that question again because if anyone asks me a certain question about what's this book um, what this book is all about they either have to look at the back of my book, look at that summary, or read it themselves. Because they shouldn't ask me. 
because I'm pretty terrible at explaining things most of the time. And I can stutter my words and forget and lose track of thought or, you know, scramble everything up and mess everything up and just, it's ridiculous. But regardless, I'm hoping my obsession will fade away over time and just, I read books and just continue to read books however I want them to. And sorry if this video is kind of awkward. I've been, you know, stopping and re-recording this because my dad is at home and I like to record my videos when no one's around. So I had to make do what I've had. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.